Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope your day is going fabulous. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we're going to create a card with a brand new die set over at Simon Says Stamp. This is called the Geometric Builders Hearts and lots of hearts in here that create the geometric shape that you can use using your colored cardstock. Um, or even pattern paper if you wanted to, or even white paper if you wanted to ink blend with your oxide inks. I think you could do that too. For today, we're going to create three hearts and um, we're going to use the horizontal stripe, the one that kind of looks like a, a burst, and then we're, that only has four pieces. And then we'll take this one that's kind of cut into eight pieces. The rest we're going to set aside. And um, for my card today, I thought we'd use an array, an assortment of oranges. And I do want to bring in a little shimmer with a gold card stock. So I went through my scrap stash, found some colored card stock, and we're going to get to die cutting. Um, now, I'm going to die cut out my hearts with all of these. Um, but I tell you, you can make more than the three. If you do this, you're, you're gonna be able to make more than the three hearts that I'm making today. You'll probably may be able to make a dozen. Um, if not, well, actually, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen. 12, 13. You'll probably be able to at least make 15. Okay, once all of my colored card stock is die cut, um, I'm taking some white card stock and then I'm just using some double-sided adhesive sheets. This is happens to be from Altenew, but um, I'm going to line it on some white cardstock and die cut out the heart. There's a solid heart in this die set um, that you can create regular hearts with, or you can create a background for these. So I think it's perfect to add adhesive. When you die cut it out, die cut it out with the adhesive side up. Okay, so I'm going to die cut out three and I'll just remove the release paper and then this just makes it easy for me to adhere all my pieces. Uh, if you don't have double-sided adhesive, you could use your tape runner or um, even double-sided tape or even glue. Just glue, add some glue to your heart here um, and then you, you can add all the pieces. Now, I, again, I chose some orangey colors and I wanted a variety on each one of these and I found that it's easier with this heart to start at the end piece. And then you can take the second piece from any color you want, add that, and you can take a third piece. We are gonna grab this corally orangey color, my favorite color. <laughs> and then we're gonna add our last piece, which is like the lightest peach color here. And then that heart is all done. And I love the way it looks, it looks super pretty. Okay, we'll set this aside and we're going to work on our next. Now you see that we have lots of pieces left over. You can make three more hearts with those. Now I'm going to go ahead, remove the release paper off of this next heart. And we're going to basically do the exact same thing with all of these colors. Now for this one, you're going to need eight different colors of cardstock. Um, I have seven and then the gold. I'm going to start off with the gold, putting it down on the bottom corner. If, that way it's easier to line up my second piece. We'll pick that up. And I think if you have a jewel pick or two, it'll help um, piecing these all together. And I'm just going around my heart, adding the colors um, with no rhyme or reason, just making sure that the lightest colors aren't next to each other, kind of alternating them. And then once I have this finished, we are good to go. Kind of fits together like a little puzzle piece. And that is my second heart. Next, we're going to take, and you have lots of pieces left over, so you can make, of course, seven more hearts with all of these. Okay, now, next we're going to make our horizontal striped one, and we're doing the same thing. For this, you need eight colors, too. So I'll just die cut out all those same colors that I used for my previous heart, and we're just adding those to our sticky background, and then this one is complete. Now for my sentiment, I'm going to bring in an older die set from Simon. This is the Hey Love die set. Love the font on here. And I think it goes perfect with the hearts. I didn't want to go, for Valentine's Day you could go pinks. And I didn't want to go pinks today because it would have made it look like a Valentine's Day card. Okay, now I'm going to die cut out my Hey Love with some black card stock. And I did add adhesive back wing behind here. Um, and I am going to die cut out three of them. 
This way um, I can layer them all together. This way I'll give my dimension, um, my sentiment a little bit of dimension. This is the hey love that I was talking about. And I'll list it down below. Um, where did I cut this out? And, and then I just layered them off camera. You can see there. Now I trimmed down a panel that measures four inches by five and a quarter. And then I thought we'd bring in a little bit of shading using some Distress Oxide ink. I have two different colors of blue. I have Broken China and Tumble Glass. And I'm just going to go along the left edge of my panel. I'm going to go ahead and start off adding a little bit of my Broken China first. And then I'm just going to spread out that color and add a little bit of Tumble Glass so it kind of fades into the white. I just want a little extra contrast on my my card and I think this blue just works out perfect I brought in my I brought my glass map I'm really I love working on the Tim Holtz tonic studios glass mat but the glare you could see my ceiling fan in it and I didn't want to drive you guys crazy with it but goodness it's it stays so pretty and then also um, it's so easy to clean up oh my goodness so I brought my glass mat back <laughs> Next, we are going to pop up each one of these hearts. We're going to put them in a little triangle towards the top here. And then um, we'll go ahead and add our hey love after we um, have adhesive. We're not going to remove the release paper just yet. I'm going to add my sentiment first, make sure that it fits. Should have tested that out first. <laughs> but basically, I want it to look like this with my sentiment in the bottom right corner here. My, um, the other black mat that I was using works fabulous. It's from Ulta New, but I'm wearing it out. I clean it so much that the grid lines on it are not white no more. They're, um, they're fading and it doesn't look as clean as I wanted it to look. <laughs> so I'm doing a little, um, a little switcheroo -y here, but there's the hay. The H is separate from the EY, and then the love is one solid piece. And I think that it looks good there, and I stuck it down. I just removed the release paper and then added the hey love down there. And then we're adding our hearts there too. I'm going to flip this panel over. We're going to add adhesive behind it, and then this is going to go on a standard A2 size card. And I'm using my new... Um, Simon to Stamp Tape Runner. So far, so good. And I have to tell you, it hasn't clogged on me um, so I'm kind of impressed so far knock on wood <laughs> now I think I need to change my plates on my um, on my platinum six my die cutting machine because um, I know it's time when my die cuts start having little um, paper shavings and that hey love had quite a few that's what I was doing with the, um, the tweezers there trying to clean it up next since I needed to bring in some more black and so I die cut out two of the itty bitty hearts and then one of the, the medium size hearts. The medium one's going to go in one of the, the geometric hearts here. But, and then we'll add the two tiny ones on the top and bottom. I'm just going to use my glue to secure those down. And then I do want to add a little bit of sparkle, of course. So I'm going to use my diamond stickles. And if you haven't used diamond stickles on black cardstock, you should try it because you will love it. The sparkle is amazing and it really does um, look like jewelry almost. But I'm going to add a little bit to the small hearts and then the heart again on the geometric design. And then that's my project today, guys. If you're interested in the Geometric Builders Hearts, um, it's part of the brand new Make Magic release over at Simon Shop. I'll list it down below. But it's a pretty fun die set. And um, I think it's going to be great for the holiday too. Thanks so much for joining me. Have a lovely day. And we will see you again next time. Bye-bye.